Hey guys, my name is John Simo, and here are two amazing 360 effects you can get when creating motorcycle content. The first effect is super simple, but makes for some amazing visuals. A seamless transition from multiple angles around your bike. First, you wanna mount your Insta360 camera to your motorcycle. Here, I'm using the official Insta360 motorcycle mounting kit, which works great to get a strong hold and reduce vibrations. You want to mount the camera to three or four different angles to capture enough shots for this effect to work. Next up, load your files into the Insta360 Desktop Studio app. Set your desired aspect ratio and find a hero frame that looks the best. Create your first keyframe here. Once you've set that keyframe, you need to make in and out keyframes that are going to be used in the transition. Set one keyframe that hides the motorcycle and another keyframe to whip out of the frame. For your next shot, you're going to create the same movement that you ended your previous shot in to create a seamless camera transition. Repeat for each shot, export your reframed 360 clips, and then edit them together in your edit app of choice. And just like that, you've got invisible cuts that showcase amazing angles of the motorcycle. It's a stellar effect to set yourself apart from other creators. Next up, I'm going to teach you the easiest way to get epic drone shots without the use of a drone. All you need is an Insta360 camera and either the selfie stick or extended selfie stick in a backpack. First, attach your 360 camera to your selfie stick. Extend it and then place it in the laptop sleeve or main compartment of your backpack. And then close the zippers to keep the pole in place. Before you ride, it is extremely important to scout the roads you plan to ride on to make sure there are no low power lines, bridges, or other man-made objects that could damage your camera or lead to injury. For safety, I'd recommend not using the extended selfie stick fully extended and keep it at 3 quarter maximum. When riding, try to keep your speed consistent. I don't go over 60 kilometers an hour when capturing fake drone shots. After you finish shooting, load your clips into the phone app or Insta360 Desktop Studio. Add a new keyframe, and then click on Natural View to remove the fisheye and make your footage look more like drone and FPV. Change the focus of your frame to be a bird's eye view looking down at yourself riding, and then add new keyframes if you don't stay centered. Play around with zooming in and out, rotating the frame, and adding more dynamic moves to keep it interesting. It really is as simple as that. So these are two easy and effective ways to capture epic motorcycle content. Even if you don't ride, these effects can create amazing shots in all sorts of environments, so try them out for yourself. 